Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a template to put your carpet down so that you're not cutting your carpet twice or messing it up when you cut it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a piece of grid paper or regular paper and you want to fit it from wall to wall. Okay? Then, if your room is wider than that, you get yourself a second piece and you bring it all the way to the edge of your room and you fit it the same way to the edge. Okay? Then you're going to want to tape it in the middle, right in here in the middle. Tape that so that it doesn't move. Alright, now once you have it taped, you want to make sure it's fitting flush up against everything. Get yourself either a old card, like an MVP card or an old gift card or something like that. And then you want to press it down along the edge, just like that. Okay. This is helping you make your crease where your carpet's going to go. Now, make sure it didn't move, because like just now, mine moved a little bit. So you want to put that back, and then you want to proceed to do that again. Okay, once you have that done, then you're going to want to take and cut out your edges. And when I say edges, I mean like right along the edge here. Okay. And then right up along. That way, you're going to push it. Try to make it to where you can see it at the same time, still be able to cut it. All right, so then go there. All right, and that should go flat. Then you want to cut this down. Make sure you have a sharp um, blade because otherwise, it's just going to tear. All right, again, you're going to do the same thing here. Now, when cutting in the doorway, there's two things you want to do. Either you want to cut it before the doorway if you're putting a different piece of carpet there, or you want to cut it in between this frame. Don't cut it directly across here unless you're going to meet the other side up to it. But either way, a real door would be, the carpet would go halfway in between on each side. So really, the reality, you should actually cut it halfway in between and then go that way across. All right, now we're going to finish cutting the rest of this, and then I'm going to save that door for last. Okay, so my doorway, I actually cut it a little bit when I did the fold. So I'm going to put a piece of tape over top of it, just like that. Okay, And then I'm going to cut right on that line, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but right here is where I'm going to cut, and I have to be careful because I have tape underneath of it. And I don't want to cut through my copper tape, which I might have to solder that because it looks like I kind of did. Alright, so now if you plan on taking your carpet, it's halfway through the door frame. And in the closet, if you're going to put carpet in the closet, then you're going to need to piece this the same way we piece this together to make one. So you're going to have to piece that. And I'll do that and I'll be right Okay, so I couldn't show you how to do that because I can't get the camera in there and my hands in there at the same time. But basically, you're just taping that the same as we did the middle to piece it. So when you get done, you have one piece of paper that's going to be the size that you need. 
Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to carpet and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm using Velour. It's um, basically a thicker version of upholstery fabric. And I'm not sure if you can really see that. But it looks like carpet to me. But um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to make sure, because they don't always cut it even, you have to make sure you have it along the edge. And then you want to take either an ink pen that's not going to bleed through or a pencil and trace it completely. And when you cut this out, you want to have an extremely sharp pair of scissors because you don't want it to tear and you don't want it to look messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this real quick and then we'll cut it out. Okay, so I went ahead and traced mine with Sharpie because I wanted you guys to be able to see it. And it actually did not come through, surprisingly. Now, I did put it on a dirty table, so now my carpet's dirty. I'll have to clean that up. But basically, you can see where the door is going to have the little piece coming out. And then this is going to be the closet. Of course, i got to draw the line there. But as you can see, their edge isn't straight, so you want to make sure you're doing it your way. And come up to where it is straight. Okay, so either you need to flip your paper upside down to where it's facing this way or you need to flip your fabric the other way because it's not going to work. It's going to be inside out. All right, so I just cut this one and totally messed that up because I had it upside down and I wasn't thinking clearly. So I went ahead and traced it again on this one and I'm going to cut this out and then that should fit. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this in here. And there you have it. It fits. Now, actually, I missed my line just a smidge here, so I'll have to take a tiny bit off of that. But as you can see, doing the template does work. Just be sure not to do it on the opposite side like I did the first time. Um, when you're doing the template and you have it in here like this, you want to have your carpet either facing up when you're tracing it or you want to flip your template the opposite way when you're paste, um, tracing it. Either way, that way you don't get the wrong pattern. Because as you can see, I'll show you real quick. When I had it facing the other way, I wasn't thinking. My pattern turned out on the opposite side, so that's not going to work. So this material is kind of wasted, although I do have smaller rooms that I can recut this for. Right? I'm not sure, I guess I was in a hurry why I did that because I know that you're not supposed to do that. But this is another room that I had did with the carpet. And again, it's right there. I kind of like the pink and blue together. Now we still have to do like the woodwork and trimming and everything around on here. And the windows and everything of course. And then we did the ceiling and all. But it kind of brings the room together a little bit. Now I have to put the fireplace in to right where those red lights are. Okay, so that's where the fireplace is going to end up going. I have to install it and everything, but that's it for this room other than the trim. Thanks a lot for watching, and follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials for more DIYs. Have a great day.